beautiful nature warriors. It's your girl Charlotte and today is Textile Tuesday. Yes, we're gonna talk about textiles because now that I am a, <laughs> oh man, the journey. Now that I am a brand um, and I make an outdoor apparel and gear, I've had to go get a PhD in textiles. <laughs> <laughs> which is something I never thought I would be doing, but here I am on this journey. So I want to share you guys a little bit about today's textile is mesh. Um, and so there's different kinds of mesh. And um, there's what, what, what I'll be using in the um, hydration pack is what we call the spacer mesh. And so here is a sample card from a company and it shows you like the different colors that are available in the spacer mesh and um, and just give you information about it. And for me, the reason why I use the spacer mesh is one, just have a little cushion against your body um, when you're wearing the hydration pack, but more importantly, it helps with a little bit of wicking so that, you know, when you sweat um, stuff, there's some circulation going on because I'm a big bodied girl and I sweat. And so I need, I always need as much wicking help as I can. And I try to make sure that there's wicking, there's an element of wicking in each of the materials that I use, because I think that's important, especially when you're outdoors and doing exercise and like, come on now, <laughs> you sweat. This is called a cool knit. So it's a knit fabric. And what's interesting about this one is that <clears throat> it doesn't really give. So it's pretty sturdy and strong. And um, so I like this cool knit. And the reason why I asked for a sample is because I may use it for something. And so there's that. And you see all the little pretty colors that they have. Ah, love it, 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 love it. And then another one is called the Eagle Flat Back Mesh. What's nice about this one, again, it, it doesn't, it has, it only has a one-way stretch. So it goes stretch to the side, but it also has diagonal. Uh, not too much diagonal. Anyways, and then look at all these gorgeous colors. So again, I have, I have, a, I have the feeling that there's going to be products or um, apparel that I make that will need a more flatter, um, sturdier um become more colorful mesh and so i got this sample card because i really loved it and then this one is really interesting it's called the stretch pro style mesh now this is the kind of mesh that i really actually kind of wanted to use because i believe either ultimate direction or one of those companies use this it's not this uh, mesh but it's like it and um what I love about it is that um, it's a little sturdier, so it doesn't really do any kind of stretching per se, but it also has a lot of different colors. And what's interesting about this one is you can do two-sided. This one, I believe, I think this is the one that comes two-sided, meaning that on the front you'll see you'll see the holes and kind of indentations, and then instead of having like a just a flat, clear black you, back you see the holes and indentations on the back as well. And it usually comes in like one eighth to one quarter inch thickness, pretty, and I think this is more like one sixteenth, but um, they do have it in other things. And so I also wanted to show you guys um, some, some more mesh that I came across. It's just like a whole big piece of mesh. Um, yeah, look at it, this is beautiful. I'm, 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 I got this on sale and um, I love that it's got a two way stretch. So I'm really thinking there's something I could do with this. I don't know yet, but I'm really thinking I want to do something with it. I mean, I just got it, so I thought, ooh. And I love the color. Um, yeah, so I got that one. Um, but the one I really want to show you guys is um, this one. This one I got from a company. It's called, this is 3D Spatial Mess and from Mimi Textiles in Ohio. Um, and so this is the actual, this is the actual mesh. <clears throat> that I will be using in the hydration pack. Um, and so I just wanna show you a couple features. One is that, notice like here, you see all this mesh and then it's got a little thickness to it, right? This is, I think he says on the back here, it is one eighth. So it's one eighth thickness. And then on the back, it just has this on there. And so this is the part that'll be against your skin. I've tried a couple different meshes and I would, what I really like about this mesh is that it's soft, super soft. Because I want, if you decide to wear it against your skin, which I don't know if you would or not, um, I just want to make sure that's soft. <laughs> or if I decide to wear it against my skin, <laughs> you know, like maybe you wear like a sports bra and then you decide to wear your hydration vest and um, you don't want to wear anything else. I just want to make sure it's soft against your skin. So, so spatial, this is um, spatial. And then there's another, so this is the one we're going to be using on the um, pad. 
want to just kind of show you guys a couple other things. So here's something else. It's like, this is more thin. It's more thin. It's, I feel like this one is more decorative than it is. It doesn't really stretch. I mean, it feels like more like a veil, but you see how, you see how that is? It's got all that. You can't really see how it is because it's not really till it doubles. <laughs> it's not until you triple it up. Maybe. <laughs> that you really can see anything about it. It's just thin, it's just thin. It's interesting, I bought it because I thought when I first saw this, this is research and development. Um, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, this is the kind of mesh I'm gonna use. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm. Um, <laughs> that ain't even it. And then I thought, okay, so I have this um, reflector um, vest that I wear when I go outside, when I'm running in the morning, early in the morning. And it's made out of a kind of mesh. You'll see that material. And I go, oh, this is kind of um, mesh I need. Um, and then I think I bought some, which is that red. That It wasn't that red, it was a different, it was a black. But it was like this. And then I thought, oh, it's so thin, it don't stretch. I was like, no, that's not what I need. So that's what I mean by like being on this journey with doing, uh, creating your product you think you know and then you don't and then you got to go research and figure out what it is you really want or where you can go get it because that's the key where do i get it so today textile tuesday we talked about mesh and mesh is kind of one of the more simpler textiles out of the other ones um for me i just like the mesh because again it gives a little softness little cushion as well as airiness and so i just you know it's part of my brand i want to make sure that you're comfortable and it's durable um, and that it's highly functional. So when you're out and doing your, doing your outdoor activities, that you're fully supported and that your, that your um, pack um, does as much as it possibly can to help you achieve high levels of performance. So thank you guys so much for joining me here today. And um, I hope you learned a little something. If you have questions about mesh, I know I didn't really get in too much detail about mesh. I know a lot more, um, but I don't want to bore you guys. But um, if you if you want the boring details, I'm more than happy to share it with you. So, <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me on Textile Tuesday. I'll see you next week. Take good care of yourself. Peace and love. And I'll see you outdoors. I'll see you outdoors. I'll see you outdoors. Uh -uh.